with a record of four wins and just one loss. 30 years old, height of 5'4", a weight of 145 pounds, from Swansea, South Carolina, fighting for Columbia Martial Arts and Fitness, Red Corner, Salam Staley. His opponent, fighting out of the Flood Brothers Blue Corner, with a record of one win, just two losses. 25 years old, at a height of 5'9", a weight of 146 pounds, from Atlanta, Georgia, fighting for Knuckle Up, Hardcore Jim, Impact Team JJ, and Team Octopus, Blue Corner, Luke. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, fight number eight on our fight card. Definitely one of the more anticipated fights of the night. We got Luke Lil Heathen Nealon taking on Solon Staley. This is set to be an explosive fight. I can't even talk. Both of these men's last victory were over Joey Carroll. Luke by first round submission, Solon by 19 second knockout. Here we go with round number one. We got three five minute rounds. Look for Solon Staley to throw the overhand right. He's landed a lot of knockouts throwing that punch in his amateur and pro career. Luke with quite the size advantage here. Solon saying really calm. Both now guys. Solon's looking for the takedown here. Fast knees from Solon here. Doing a good job of uh, pinning Luke against the cage here. Yeah, Luke's staying really calm here. And now they are separated. Very nice breakaway from uh, Luke there. Little heathen. Nice inside leg kick by Luke. Yeah, Solon's last fight, he crushed. Joey Carroll in 19 seconds with an overhand right knockout. You know, just from uh, training with Luke, the guy hits hard and he kicks even harder, man. So this should be a good match. Good straight right from Luke. Oh, and so Lam so lands a right hand there. A nice knee. That might have hurt Luke a little bit. That knee went right to the liver. So on almost looks like he could make 135. I doesn't believe look, it, man. Doesn't look to be a very big 45 pounder. These days, anybody can make anything, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Rampage Jackson's going to cut down the lightweight before we know it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about cutting down the straw weight. Whoa, explosive knee there from uh, Solon. Solon's oh, still doing a good job keeping Luke against the cage here. Interesting hand position there. He's keeping it across the legs of uh, Luke there, Ooh. keeping him from kneeing. Luke lands a good knee there. That's a, he's neutralizing Luke's knees pretty good with that positioning, but there's the throw from Luke. Luke's got the head here. He, he made it very clear he didn't want to go to the ground this fight. He wasn't interested in the ground, so. Luke? Yes. Oh, I did not know that. I was kind of expecting a shot from Luke. He, he, you know, he's really good on the ground. Not because I don't think he can stand up with Solon, because he's he's really good on the ground. Yeah, no doubt he has great grappling skills. He's a great wrestler, but he's also a really good striker, and uh, he just really wants to display that. You know, it happens in the gym, but it's different when you're under the lights. Yeah, I'd like to see a separation here from George Allen. Solon's not doing anything. Uh, both guys trading some little pitter-patter knees here. Uh, Luke might have a takedown. Oh, no, Solo. Oh, Luke's right to mount. Luke. Right into oh, Luke's going to get the back. This is Luke's strength is the back. Let's see if Solo can get out. This Luke, is Luke needs to calm down here. This is great positioning here for Luke. He's looking for the choke. Rachel Seltzer's going crazy in the front row. Solo's going to end up on top, but he's switching. To an arm bar. He might have it. 
He's just got to switch his hips. If he yeah, switches look, those looks hips. Looks like Sullen's creeping out over here. Yeah, he's still got that high guard, though. If Solo tries to pull out, Luke's going to he's gonna wrap that leg around and try to stretch that arm. And, and a hard knee from Sullen. Here he goes. He's starting to make a move over the head here. Luke with a really high high guard here. Yeah, Solo's really doing arm. good at stacking him here. It looked like he had it again, but Sullen's doing a good job here defending. Yeah, it's just that drive-in technique. Oh, and he's oh, got it. Oh, look at that. He might. Oh, he's moving. Oh, and Solon reverses out of it, and now Solon's on top. Wow. Back and forth action here. Good an exchange right there. And now Solon is in full mount. Let's look for Luke to push off the cage here. Oh, how the tide has turned. Solo's in the mount, dropping some power here. Oh, and a hard elbow. Luke reverses. He's looking to lock, lock in that guillotine. Luke's only got to hold on for 10 seconds here. He's got a good position here. He's in half guard. Me and Luke actually worked some uh, elbows and knees with, uh, in the close range, trying to get him ready because we knew Solo would try to close the distance. And here we go with the start of round number two. I'd like to see more kicks from Luke here. He's, he's a great kicker, man. Oh, and a nice overhand right from Solon lands. Solon's been very confident this week leading up to the fight and following him on Facebook. He's definitely neutralizing Luke's uh, reach here by keeping him on the cage and, and turning, it, turning it into kind of a wrestling match. Yeah, definitely not the strategy I was expecting from Solon. Yeah, he's keeping him in his corner. Nice elbow before he broke the uh, clinch there. Good front kick from Solon. Good jab from Solon there. Looks like Luke switching his stances here too from orthodox to southpaw. Oh, but uh, Luke looks to maybe have a guillotine locked up here. Yeah, but the angle is a little off. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think it's gonna put him out here. He's just gonna try to tire uh, Solo out. Solo's got a heck of a death grip. If he doesn't have it, he's gonna gas his arms out. And he um, taps. It is all over. Solon Staley with a guillotine victory over Luke Nealon. Wow. Solon really kept that grip. He didn't let go of the choke. I, I was telling you, man, he, he's had a lot of victories by guillotine as well. Yeah, he had a tight squeeze on. I think Solo was a lot stronger than uh, Luke was expecting. Mr. George Allen bringing both of our fighters into the center ring. This was professional MMA. Our eighth fight of the night scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And round number two at the one minute and 30 second mark. Winner by guilty, Staley. So on Staley from Swansea, South Carolina. Fighting for Columbia Martial Arts and Fitness. Your winner. Two with a guillotine.